Creepy. That is even more creepier. Yep. Well, yeah. Um, creepiest thing that you finally find it, <laughs> that you'd probably find in the game. But, anyway, as I was saying, hey. Now, anyway, as I was saying, hey, hey, everybody, it is it to what? Uh, uh, now it's time to do the LP of the Majora's Mask. Now I'm gonna stop saying to the song, uh, uh, cause I'm probably gonna ruin it, alright? So, let's start. So, anyway, hey guys, I'm Mitsu1. Welcome to the, the, the Let's Play of Legend of Zelda The Majora's Mask. Sorry guys, something happened. Sorry guys, something happened there. But, like I said, welcome to the Majora's Mask. Now, I have something to say before I start. Um, as a people who is expecting me to make another, um, episode for Super Mario 64, uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually getting kind of bored of the game because I've never actually liked that game, alright? It's one of my less favorite I was one of my the games in Mario that I really didn't like, so I, I really didn't. So it's official. I'm not doing that. Let's play it anymore, or I'm not going further. But I'm gonna keep the rem the videos I have d the done about it up just for your enjoyment. But let's begin. Uh, Link. Of course, it's all the way over there. Link. Let's do this. Link. Good. Let's begin. In the land of Hyrule, there goes a legend. A legend held, but... Okay. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a journey, a journey of the personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and, and valued friend. I want to keep that with. A friend who, won with partnered up, he finally fulfilled his heroic destinies and took his place in, among legends. Now, we can begin. You, first of all, see this. Alright. There... So you start off with Link and Epona. Link and Epona. Alright. Thank you. Enough of that boring stuff. Let's get to the real fun. Creepy. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if there's anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, he shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna learn that a hard way. Wow, that's terrible draw distance in the cutscene. <laughs> in the cutscene, he wasn't even wearing a mask. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. That would... Uh, what would we do 
if you drop them broken. No, no way. You can't touch it. Oh, but it's this. Oh, but it's this. Well, why can't I try it out, too? <laughs> he, look behind you. He's awoken. Look for... Link looks unamused. Oh, my. Eh? Go! And he gets on his horse. Hold on, Link. Hold on for as if your life depended on it. What? Look, look, dude, look at that again. The mask was like sideways on his head. That is a very weird place to put a mask. Or am I just hallucinating? All right. He's unconscious. Nope. But let's begin. All right. So, like I said, this is Legend of Zelda, the Majora's Mask. I'm not really sure how they got there because you can't really get up there. But we start off with Link, basic controls. Uh, press A while running to do a spin attack like this. Like, I mean, just to spin. Uh, press B to use your sword. Uh, you can get these things called rupees, which if you don't know, are basically the currencies. Uh, the currency in the game, the money. The green one only, is only worth one rupee. The blue one's worth five. Um, the red rupee is worth 20. And then there are more advanced ones, like the purple rupee that's worth 50, the silver rupee that's worth 100, 100 and the gold rupee worth 200. Alright, but, but that would be rare to see a gold rupee. Um, this game does not have a jump button, sadly. Unlike Mario, that's one of the disadvantages. You can press R to zoom in on your back like this you could and if you hold R what well, well and there are other things that you could do with the R button but I'm not gonna get into detail that up that at the moment and sadly he doesn't hold on creepy masks 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 they're everywhere masks galore Ah! Ouch! Poor flower. It's like we don't care about Link. It's like poor flower. What's with that? What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't do a thing I said to it. There's no point in riding that thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee hee hee! Oh boo hoo! Why sad face? I just thought I'd like to have a little fun with you. Oh, come on. Oh, come now. Do you really... Oh. Okay. Well, it was all like, do you really think you could stop me at, uh, at this point? Watch what he does. Check out what he does here. What's gonna happen to me? Seriously? I'm scared. Ah! Ah! These creatures are called Decker Scrubs, just to let you know. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody ate too much cake. Like somebody ate too much Deku cakes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Wish I could do a shriek like that. That'd be awesome. Hee hee hee. Now that's a good look for you. How are you able to get that mask floating on your face? Seriously, I want to do that. You'll stay looking. You'll stay here looking like that forever. Hee hee hee. Look what happens. Oh, by the way, these two fairies are called Tattle and Tail. The white one's Tattle, the purple one's Tail. Get it? I'll fail. Yeah. Success. 
Oh my. Whoa! Whoa! Skulkin! Wait for me! I'm still here! Tail! You can't leave without me! You! If I wanted to deal with you, I would have got separated from my brother! Well, don't just stand there, Dicker Boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck in my face? No. What face? Seriously. You have no face. Will you just stop staring at me and get the door for me? Please, come on, help this little girl who's asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be around his own. Anyway. I don't have a feeling about this. Now with Deku Link, um... Uh, with Deku Link, you can, uh, walk up, press A to do that attack. It's kind of a spin attack. Uh, B does nothing at the moment. Yes. Often what would happen is that these flowers, these group of flowers will try to run away and then eventually they'll hide. You walk up to a door, press A. And there you go. Anyway. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um... That stuff back there, I, um, apologize, so, so take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? There's more than one Skull Kid? He's saying that Skull Kid. You should probably say the Skull Kid. Or, you, or actually just Skull Kid. Seriously. Well, I just happen to have an idea on where you might be on where he might be going. Which one? Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. Tattle Tail. So, um, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got it all straightened out. Um, can we uh, stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, yeah, and he's just gonna tell you that. <laughs> it's bit I like his face, like he doesn't get how to use the controller. Now, often he's gonna call out for you, and you press up on the C stick. Now, he's telling you that. Oops. Um, he's telling you that you can use this Deku flower, and if you press A, um, you can fly on it and you see flowers. But the flowers only survive a limited time, so you have to use them wisely. Now, don't just do this. Don't press A and let go immediately. Hold down A until uh, the top of the top of his mouth collapses. Right there. It's sore over there. Now, if, now, now, if you fly backwards and forwards like this, you could actually survive on the flowers longer. Now, oops! Wow, I fell so quickly into the game that that wasn't even funny. Something tells me this is going to be an exciting game. Oh, look, just a chest. Walk up to it, press A. There, 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 there. You just raise it. You raise a dicku nut into the air. So, um, uh, the Deku Nuts, I won't tell you about later, till later. Actually, never mind. To select an item, here's what you have to do. Uh, uh, go to your pause menu, from start, obviously, and then select the item that you want to select, and use the C stick, and put it on any... Uh, empty spaces on the top right corner. For example, down. 
and now if you press that button, you can use the item. With Deku Nuts, uh, they, they form a uh, bright fl blinding flash of light, uh, which will paralyze an enemy and then you can attack them easily. That was your example. I really don't need these De Deku Nuts now or anyway. So, why not waste them? As soon as I get them. Oh my god! I went around in circles! That was... That was great. Wow. Okay. I just spin around in circles. I will definitely not take that. No, I am. Let's go over here. Turn. Whee! That's an example that they won't last long. Ah! Okay, I was sucked if I just um died there and then I have to do it all over again. Let's see, what is this? All right. So you hold down R, and this is one of its uses. Press up. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over people with objects, use Z to look at them. Yeah, in with the well, with the classic uh, N64 controller, it's Z, but with a GameCube controller like this, it's R. Use Z target to help to talk to people even if they're far away or if there's no one in target you can use Z to look straight ahead but enough about that for now come on and you know what the C C the Z is actually the button the right button for my keyboard that I'm using because I'm actually playing this on an emulator not we or anything all right So let's walk up. I don't have a good feeling about this. I really don't. Walk up and woo! <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Poor ta Tattle. I always called him her tail. <laughs> I I own a happy mask shop. I've traveled far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now i found you. Now, don't think of me rude, but I've been following you. STALKER! For I know of a way to return to your former self. If you could get back the precious mask I stole you, uh, I stole it from you. That, that was stolen from you. I will return you to normal. Next stage. All I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task? Why, for something like you, it should be no means as difficult. Except, the only thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I, I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time is here. So. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are you, you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it the right oh, it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Okay. Creepy. 
that's not creepy at all. Now it's dawn of the first day, except two hours remain. Now we're in Clock Town, South Clock Town to be exact. Clock Town is the town in the middle of Termina. Termina is just a main country, I guess, that you would that you're in at the moment. He gives me the creeps. That mass salesman was he sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep? That that leaves us with a measly seventy two hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the great fairy. <laughs> Look, you wanna find that skunkin, don't you? <laughs> the great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. That's not creepy at all. And just between you and me, Skullkin is no match for the great fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find a great fairy there. There. So anyway, so first, there's this dog that bumps you over, but not again, not again, not again. Well, I guess it's been long enough. Uh, I'll talk about this next, uh, this meter on the bottom in the next episode. The next time, uh, in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are going to continue to explore Clock Town a bit. So, see you guys then. What is it? Aren't you going to the blah blah blah? Bye.